Mm-hmm. When you do a podcast, it's press. Yeah. Because you're promoting something. Yeah, like it's press. But with you, it's like. Well, do you want to promote anything? No. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen Don't. to JoJo's <laughs> songs. <laughs> No, listen to my music, Stream Guilty Pleasure, EP available everywhere now. Watch the Guilty Pleasure music video. Go to JoJoZoo.com to shop. Watch All My Friends Are Dead. Um, what was the one? I logged on to Hulu. Hi, welcome to Rachel Uncensored, the only place on the internet you can find an uncensored version of me. I'm here with my best friend, Jojo Siwa. Say hello. I got the title of best friend. You did, because you would not be on my podcast if I didn't. That's Honestly, I'm, I'm honored. Um, I forgot I have to turn down your mic and mine when I'm with you, because yep. I also scream. We get a little too excited. Wee! Oh, that was sassy. Um, I'm honored. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, what? Yes. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All the normal things we say at the beginning of a podcast. Yeah. Get them out of the um, way. No one's going to say, oh, I logged on to Hulu the other day. Yes. And I saw your face. Dressed my I, tour. Yeah. <laughs> what the, I yeah. Love, I absolutely loved. I was, it was like yeah. the middle of the night and I couldn't sleep. So I just opened my phone to watch a little there Desperate Housewives. Oh. That's <laughs> you. <laughs> she pointed behind me. <laughs> I was like, wait, oh. wait, actually, what is that? So, uh, don't, <laughs> I knew you were going to do it the second I turned. She did this, like, finger gun thing. I don't get it. <laughs> Use the mic, please. I forgot there's a mic. Here. <laughs> Typically, it's this. What is happening? It just, She's it's like. She's doing, like, a Vogue sucking It throws corset. you off guard. It's just a really dramatic pose that throws you off guard. Is this Gen Z or is this you? This is me and my dancers. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. very confused for half yeah, a second. No, no, no. Okay. Dress as my I, doer. Okay. As I was saying, I popped onto Hulu to watch a little Desperate Housewives and I yeah. see your face. Yes. And I was like, I don't even know what that one is. Yeah, no, that one, I filmed that right after Forces. And yeah, it was just a cutie little Dress My Tour one off. It was a one day shoot. Um, what is it? It's kind of like. It's not to do promo, but I literally am just like, hey, no, what yeah. was that thing you did? They basically took 10 fashion designers and then they like put them through challenges to like find the winner. And so, like, their week one challenge was designed for Jojo Siwa. Oh, that's fun. That was cute. Did you like any of them? Mm. Okay, and next question. <laughs> yeah. It, not my taste. It was, it was before, so we, we had filmed the episode before I had filmed Karma. But I knew I was going to oh, film okay. Karma. And so I was, like, kind of excited to see, you know, if any of these would actually, like, fit my mold. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I didn't really know what that looked like yet. But everyone tried to make old Jojo look old now versus just like, how am I now? You know what I mean? Yes. I have so many things. I'm always mad at the internet because of the, what they do to you. I just will never yeah. get over. They were like, grow up. And then you grew up and they're like, stop it. You're just a child. You're just a child. And it's <laughs> like, like, what do you want from her? I feel like I just finally have accepted like, look, it, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're you just do you. You do it well. Thank you. Hey, I'm chilling. You are chilling. Oh, Okay. We do something every episode where we eat, read an entry from my book. You remember my book? Yes, 101 Things That Piss Me Off. Hell yes. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Every episode, we read an entry. I'm, I think, like, at 47 now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to read it. All right, let's hear it. Number 49. You know what pisses me off? What, Rachel? I love that you know. Of I course. love that you know. Episode with your mom's the best. Annoying things mom do. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome back to another episode of What Pisses Me Off. Today, everybody, I'm going to be talking about the annoying things moms do. Now, let me start off by saying my mom and I's relationship is great. Then I moved out. Since I moved off to college, my mom and I's relationship is great. What? But since I've been home. Oh, yeah. I've, Why do you have my video memorized? You know my memory. Your memory is insane. So scary, but I, I used to love that video. Really? Yes. I didn't even remember that I did it. It's my favorite video. It's like I, one I of feel my like favorites. I should go back it's and like, watch it. Have you never seen it? No. It's so good. Should I bring back the What Pisses Me Off? Yes. Series? I mean, Please. my channel's tanking anyway. <laughs> so let's like just fucking go. Like, hope for the best. I'm down. I think you should. Okay, well, this one is Kids Band Aids. I saw those. Besides JoJo, you didn't see that there's an asterisk. Oh. <laughs> it says besides JoJo Siwa. Okay, why Kids Band Aids? And it reads they aren't really functional. I think that's what I'm yeah. saying. Uh, you'd think kids' band-aids would stick better because kids are more active, but no. One ounce of sweat and you'll find that brightly colored car- cartoon sticker flapping about, hanging yep. on by a hair, a literal hair on your leg. Then you realize you have poor grooming habits and you should probably shave once in a while. Yep. That was it. Yep. Yep. I Why agree. is it? They're like a plasticky. They really are. They'd come right off. 
honestly, I think because a lot of times, I think they're made for not actual injuries or boo-boos. Like, oh, it's kids, like a sticker. Kids just like it. Yeah. But I feel like a sticker sticks better than a kid's Band-Aid. Yeah. Like, Peppa Pig ain't going to hold on. No. Yeah. And because there's times where I'm like, that's a cute Band-Aid set. I want that. But you know they're not going to work. No. Nope. I need the, also, even the waterproof Band-Aid ones, oh, those no. suck. You got to get the fabric. Guarantee Zara's is still on her toe. Oh, yes. That one that I gave her. Uh, JoJo did a surgery on Zara's toe the other day he while did. we were at the pool. And that's going to stay. Because that's like athletic tape. Those, no, it was, it's just a Band-Aid. Oh. It's like the like, Equinite, like whatever that brand is, it's like equally, oh. like something like that. Yeah. It's and not, they're clear. Yeah, it's not It'll Band-Aid. Change I feel like the Band-Aid brand waterproof ones suck. Yeah, they're not actually waterproof. I like the fabric ones. The fabric ones, I feel, stick better. Yes, the like sports ones. Yes. Yes. No. Trust me, I'm going to send you a picture of my waterproof ones. And this is what, when I have JoJo Siwa on my podcast, <laughs> we discuss Band-Aids. We're about to <laughs> discuss the smell of this room. I, it's is this dog. really what Blaze smells like? Yes. I've never met her dog, Blaze. We've yeah. been best friends You've now. You've seen him from afar. Nine years. <laughs> no, I've never even seen Blaze. Oh, that's true. You've seen Snoop. I've seen Snoop. I've never even seen Blaze. I promised JoJo's mom many years ago that I would never have pit bulls around, around her. And I, I don't Nothing get Nothing against pit bulls. They're beautiful no, dogs. My dogs get along with people. Yep, they're great Especially dogs. Blaze. He would love you. But I just respect. I understand the fear. Yeah. And I got to respect. I don't care. So you haven't met him, but this is, you've met his stench. I tried to light a candle. Would you like just hold this? Honestly, I'm, no, I'll drop it. That's scary. I'll just hold this near you. Yeah, that smells better. I'll just hold this. <laughs> Thank <scary>. you. <laughs> um, no, I'm just more fascinated. Like he really smells like a dog. Well, he is one. <laughs> he is. He's an 80 pound pit bull. It's a dog, 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 dog. Yeah, it's not a little dog smell. It's no. a dog, dog smell. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, this room, it actually, it smells better than it normally does because usually it smells like farts. I mean, I can help. I really don't need you to. Actually, you would probably enjoy that smell more. Honestly, probably. Maybe I'll let you. You can fart I'll, if you'd I'll like. I'll let it rip a little. <laughs> God, you were so foul. I love it. Hey, stop. We were talking about this the other day. <laughs> Anytime I wasn't with my mom, I was with you. Yeah. And so like. <laughs> yes. Like the only other time like I could go out in public. In was your with, teenage years. Yes. Yes. Was with you. Now I have to let a fart rip. Again. You can let it rip. If you're going to. God damn. <laughs> oh, you yeah, you did it. You're welcome. <laughs> it's going to hit me so hard. <laughs> you're welcome. You have the rankest farts. They're so good. I eat so much protein. It's so good. That is literally what it is. You just fed me protein too. It's I did. Your fault. Jojo came over for a family dinner. We gave surf and turf. It was amazing. With broccoli. We well, gave you all of the. It was so The good. toot action. All of the toot action. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The broccoli, the potatoes, the sauces. Yeah. Yep. The protein. That'll yep. get you. Anyway, what were you saying? I was either with yourself. You, you were either with, I was either with my mom or I would go with my brother as well or with Rachel. And my mom, you were one of the only people that my mom trusted me with. Yes. And so I am a product of you as well. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, we did talk about this. Yeah. I basically helped raise my you. My habits are your habits. All right. Um, I asked the internet to ask you questions, and once we're bored with those, we're going to play Would You Rather, because those always spark fun little conversations. Okay, I love this game. Okay, hold on. I got to get to the... Where are we going? Uh, well, someone wants to... Are you playing the toesies <laughs> with me while you have shoes on? <laughs> I just want to see if you'd get annoyed. I guess. 102 things that piss you off. <laughs> Jojo Siwa. Someone asked, in that moment, relax. No, honestly, it's valid. I love you. I love you more. You are genuinely a little sister to me. I know. You, we were in her pool and she just was, you, oh, your fountains, because she has fountains in her pool. <laughs> <laughs> she just went up and started pointing them at everyone. At you specifically. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> okay. The thing is, is R Rachel and I really have an older sister, younger sister dynamic now. Yes. Like scary, kind of. Yes. You are yeah. my little sister through yeah. and through. And I give you advice and I tell you when you're dumb. And I give you advice. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> and That's I, what happens. And I, okay, the thing is, is too, is I actually take your advice. Like and I, I take yours. Yeah, I do actually listen to you. You do actually listen to me. I only sp give you advice when I truly think you need it. Yes. If it's, you know. You're good. You let me have fun. Yeah. There it is. She taught me how to drive. I, the other day, I did. I did teach you how to drive. Yeah. The other day, I thought she was going to say that she wanted Molly. And I looked at her and I was oh like, I'm going to kill you. And she was like, relax. I was like, I said I'm going to call my mom. Like, <laughs> I was like, I just thought it was going to be something else. I was going like, to murder you. That's fine. What did I go to say? Like, 
You're like, I could really use some, and you started with an M. And for some reason, I thought you were going to say Molly, and I was going to, I was yeah, going to ground you. I, would I was going to send you to your room without no. supper. <laughs> <laughs> supper is crazy. I'm in your mansion. <laughs> eating the food room. that you post made it for us. You are not coming out to the pool today. <laughs> you go into your podcast room and you think about what you did. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's, I'm scared for these. I'm kind of, I'm excited. <laughs> I filtered them. Boring. I, someone asked this and it's the weirdest question and I actually wanted to know as well. Okay. What was the weight of the hammer you used in the guilty pleasure video okay. and for rehearsals? So, so the hammers were, the bottom part was, um, Wood? foam. Oh, fo- what? Yeah, foam. And the top part was foam. So it was foam. But the problem with that was it actually messed the weight up. Because I've done it now. Don't do this. But I have done it with a real hammer for Got a video. It. And because of the weight of the real hammer, flipping it was actually so much easier than the foam Because it's weighted hammer. hard. Oh, like, yeah, it's so you can flip spot. it and it's yeah. easier. But with the foam, you, like, the weight, it didn't. It's, it's all one. It's exactly. All and words. making it look like you're actually hammering while using a foam hammer isn't. If, well, but you the, tricked me. I thought it was a real hammer. The jackhammer was a real jackhammer. How much did that weigh? Uh, how much does a jackhammer weigh? Some pounds. 40, 50 pounds, maybe? Maybe. It I was heavy, know. but doable. Yeah, I mean, I lifted it up over my head, no problem. And <laughs> Well, that's you're a beast of a human being. Thank you. <laughs> the uh, plank of wood also is real that I'm carrying. What did you lick? You licked something. I licked the hammer. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was a sledgehammer. I looked away. Uh, mine. <laughs> cover your eyes. I no, it was a real. Mine was a hammer, hammer, okay. the foam hammer, the foam hammer. Yeah. All right. Home chef, home chef is our sponsor for today. Now, as adults, we all dread the question, "What should we have for dinner?" I know in this household, it's the biggest question of the day, and a lot of the time, inevitably, we just end up ordering takeout because going to the grocery store, figuring out what we want to eat, bringing it home, and cooking it is just too much. And we spend so much money doing that. So if you rather enjoy a home-cooked meal without the stress of planning ahead, Home Chef makes it really easy and saves you money. Home Chef provides fresh ingredients and chef-designed recipes conveniently delivered to your doorstep to simplify your cooking experience. I'm telling you guys, This food is delicious and extremely easy to make. I made our favorite this last week was the gnocchi. Abby rated it a nine out of 10. And if you know her, that is a true compliment to the chef that created this. Whether you prefer classic meal kits with pre-portioned ingredients and easy instructions, speedy recipes ready in less than 30 minutes, oven ready kits with pre-chopped ingredients or quick microwave meals that assemble in minutes. Home Chef has you and the entire family covered for delicious meals without the hassle. They have over 30 options a week and serve a variety of dietary needs so you don't have to worry about what to make ahead of time. Not only is it convenient, but it's but it's economical too. Home Chef customers save an average of $86 per month on groceries. For a limited time, Home Chef is offering my listeners 18 free meals plus free dessert for life and of course free shipping on your first box go to homechef.com slash rachel that's homechef.com slash rachel for 18 free meals and free desserts for life you heard that right homechef.com slash rachel you must be an active subscriber to receive the free dessert and then someone asked what are your guilty pleasures get it like her song haha <laughs> that's good i like that um my guilty pleasures are mine are rom coms. I love a rom com. Really? I fucking I just Have you realized ever seen the movie Just Go With It. Maybe I don't know. I don't <gasps> know the names of things. Who's what is that about? Just Who's Go With It. Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston, and no. like they just, tonight. Okay. I will stay late. Oh my god! And she has press in the morning, not just a podcast, yeah, but an actual press. I'm not staying. You're not staying. But please, actually watch it tonight. Just go with it. Just go with it. It is. You know I'm not a movie bitch. No. I fucking hate a movie. You love a scary movie, though. I love a scary movie, and I love to be in a movie. I love to tell a story. But watching a movie is really hard for me to do. They're the worst. Because you can't, you don't have enough time to get into it, and once you start, it's over. It's over. And it's like, it's just not the vibe. But just go with it. We'll change your life. All right. Is it it a rom-com? Yes. Okay. Because I realized the other day, I love romance. It's so good. I love romance. You are a little romantic. I'm a, like, I love it. When, like, two people start falling for each other, I'm like, oh, my God, romance. It's like, <laughs> I love it. And I was like, you're, you're she, she's like, I can't compete with you because you're always, like, just kind of, like, 
going over the top, but like you just randomly bring me flowers or you yes. plan dates. I'm like, yeah, romance. I it's love fun. it. I love doing it. Yes. I love receiving that. And when you really like a person. Oh, like, yeah. Ah, uh, so nice. I just want to make them happy. I want to know I thought about them all the time. It's romance. The so I love a rom-com. Yes. They're just, all cheesy. They're none of them realistic. Rust and watch just go with it. It's so cute. All right. Is that your guilty pleasure? Um, just go with it. Yeah, that could be my guilty pleasure. I also really like ghost energy drinks. Not sponsored at all. They're just my guilty pleasure. <gasps> nope, 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 nope. Pop tarts. Pop tarts. I have a pack of Pop Tarts today. Today was the first day I didn't have one. Wait, what flavor? Any. Lies. There is a flavor you like more than anything else. Okay, well, I say any, and I mean the rotation that I have, because I have them at my snack bar at my studio, so I just pull one out and hope for the best. Oh. It's either cherry, blueberry, strawberry, or brown sugar, cinnamon. But I really mm. want to try Snickerdoodle. Get them. I really want to. I think, I think um, if I have you save it up. at the studio. Yeah. I, I think if you save up, you if can I can go buy it, I can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you can have a pop tart. There was yes. one I can't remember in high school. There was a vending machine, and I had like no money. But there, like, every once in a while, I'd have enough. I'd have two dollars, and I could get a pop tart. And I'd settle for the brown sugar cinnamon. So good. Yeah, it's good. But there was one. It was like some berry blast bullshit. Yes, and it's like blue and has like the like yes. purple. It's purple and has the blue swirl on it. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the normal like strawberry, yeah, so blueberry. Good. It was like a berry blast. That's what I mean. They're all good. They are all good. They're all good. I I I feel though we're in 2024. They could frost the whole tart. Yes. Like we could we could do that, guys. Don't even need the jelly on the whole tart. Just frost the whole. Oh, tart. Okay, just frost the whole thing. Like, but I will say the bits without the frosted make the bits that are frosted better. True. I guess it's like having just the oh, marshmallows. I'm for sure, getting a hop tart for my ride home. <laughs> for sure, it's happening. You're like, <laughs> you can't break the streak. I have one every day right now, every single day. I love when I get on those streaks. One That's time, it was like I was having a waffle every day, every Yum. morning. Yeah, every morning I'd have a waffle. It was delicious. Yum. Sometimes when you just get into those what routines, mini pancakes tomorrow. You could make those. Those are easy. Or I could just buy the frozen pack. Pop them in the microwave. No. JoJo, I will come to your house and I will make you pancakes. They Tomorrow are morning? so much. Sure. They are so much better than a microwave. You got a concrete plan? You have press. And I need breakfast. <laughs> what time? Shit. What if I? 8.30. You have press at 8.30? I have to leave my house at 9, so I need breakfast at 8.30. Do you realize the traffic I would hit coming in? Do you realize, though, that, like, imagine at 8.30 a.m. <laughs> I am here. And I make you pancakes? <laughs> but do you like them with chocolate it's chips? So cute. Sure. <laughs> sure. However you want to cook them. No, uh, a little never. chocolate chip. Uh, uh, do you like a little chunks of banana in them? Yum. Those are good. Chunks of banana, blueberry. Oh, yeah. Just sign just, me up. Sometimes I don't even need syrup. I just smother them in butter. Oh, so good. Anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not tomorrow. One day. One day. One day. Deal. Uh, for, for like, when oh, it'll be for something where I don't, I literally never know what to buy you for a present. You'll make me a pancake. I'll just come to your house for like your birthday or Christmas and make you pancakes. Dude, I'll cry. That would be the best. That would be so meaningful. <laughs> it would be. Okay. My favorite was one day, Rachel was like, I don't know what to do for you, but I know like I could cook you dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. And so I came over here and this was the last time I came over for yes. dinner. You were like, I really want to see you. I know you don't like to go do things, but can we go do dinner? Yeah. Can, we, can you come here for dinner? And I was like, yes. <laughs> They're done. It was for my birthday. Remember I came over and you made dinner? Yeah. Abby made dinner. I, well, I don't do anything. I buy the food and I clean up. That's my... Hey. That works. works. She and cooks she, it because she She hates, enjoys cooking. Yeah. She doesn't want to buy it and she doesn't want to clean up. So I'll do the other things. Easy. Mine's just work. Hers is talent. I have another question. Will you do another tour with new music? Yes. As soon as I have enough songs to you have an, You have an EP. I have an EP with five out, right? Okay, those are words I don't know. And then... <laughs> with five. I have an EP with five what, songs. Why do you say outright? Now. Right now. What the fuck? I have an EP with five songs out right now. Oh, so you just took away like half the words. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did. I definitely did. Okay. Okay, at the end, I think... <laughs> Trying to figure out what I meant. I think I meant like, I like if I was saying like, right, I have an EP out oh, with five songs. Oh, I didn't songs. know if this was like music lingo no. or Gen Z lingo or just, you just didn't end like, your sentences. I guess it should have been like, I have an EP with five songs out. That's right. Got it. But I just Get said it that. Right. I, I have, a, oh, I have no, an EP with five sense. songs out, right? Yours, your sentence, I have five songs out, comma, right? 
Yeah. Okay. I just didn't stop. <laughs> sure. However, it makes me sound not stupid. It wasn't you at all. I think it was me because I could have just kept going with it and I'm just an ass. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is one thing that I love about Rachel. She will challenge me. Every time. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, oh damn it. I've lost my place. It's okay. Um, when are you, when, I, I know you don't know when your tour is. I don't is. know when. No, I don't know when, but I do know that there will be one. Thank God. Oh, I will be there for your first show, your LA show, and your last show, just like your dream tour. Deal. Promise? I promise. All right. Shake on it. You still haven't seen me perform live, like, now. Uh, not since you've created your new music, no. <laughs> well, I saw... When you did your karma release uh, in WeHo, I saw you on stage while your music was playing, nope. but that's not the same thing. Nope. That's not at all. Nope. I know it's not. Someone asked, what's your favorite alcoholic beverage? Fireball. Fireball. Dun, dun, dun. I also can fuck up a candy, co- cotton candy, truly. I have not tried that. So good. I, also a lemon drop. It just like goes oh, down Oh, lemon the drops hatch. are so good. Down it's hatch, candy. Call it, call it a day. But a cotton candy truly is my, like, let's skull. And what do you drink if you don't want a hangover? Water. Correct. I was going to say vodka soda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thought I taught you well. Wait, ask me again. And what do you drink that's alcoholic if, so you don't get hungover? You don't. Correct. That's actually, I have taught you well. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you taught me really well. I saw Malia this today. I was like, the reason why I love surrounding with myself that are people that are older than me because I can guarantee you when you were 21, you had a couple party days in your life. I did. But you, now that you are 31, you're 31? 33. Thank All you. All right. Though. Well, let's call it 31. Let's I got Botox. You. you look good. Thank you. But you look back at that area of your life and you, in the moment it was fun to you. Now that you're older, though, you're like, that is so stupid. Do not do that. So I love surrounding myself by people that are past it because yeah. there is a way to party safely. I had yes. someone really close in my life. Because obviously in my world, like, drugs are a massive topic. And we never do drugs. And we never do drugs. Thank but you. I had, I have a friend who I am very, very close to, and I'll tell you who off camera if you want to know, but. I'm um, sure I can guess. No, actually, I don't think you would guess this one. Um, but long story short, they were just saying to me, they were like, look, if you ever want to do drugs, go for it. Call me. Mm-hmm. And we go to your house, and I bring it for you, and we sit there. And I watch you do it, and I make sure you do the proper amount, and I make sure it's not laced, and we can, you can do whatever you want to do, but you call me. And I was like, well, the good news is I'm not doing it. No. And they were like, exactly, you're not doing it. No. But if you ever do, because curiosity is a thing, peer pressure is a thing. Oh, yeah. You call me. And then they also were like, if you are in a situation, you call me, and yeah. you say, it happened. You don't need to say what. <laughs> you just say, it happened, and I will drop what I'm doing, and I will get to you. Ah, oh, man. I can't ever see you doing drugs. Never. No, no, no. Not hardcore like that. Nope. No. No. But I, I am scared to do literally any of it, but it's because the come down after is so hard. You lose the whole next day and you're in yeah. a funk and, and neither of us can afford to do that. No, no, no. And you know, I have a very, very addictive personality with things. And oh, so- yes. For something that is designed to be addictive, I don't, I don't need to- I don't need- I don't need to chase that high. Like, I have plenty of highs that I get to chase that I don't need to chase that high. Yeah, no, you're good. I'm good. You're good. I am so happy and so satisfied in my life right now. I'm good. Yeah. That's, that's something I've never even thought about doing. Because yep. just good. I think we're just good people. We're not like sound you people. You can have like, we're fun just, without we're it. Good. You can have yes. fun without it. And some people can't. And unfortunately, they have to learn the hard way that you have to learn how to have fun without it. That's why I'm saying don't ever start because... Once you start, you can't finish. Yeah. You can't, you can't figure out how to f- have fun without it. And trust me, babe, there are ways to finish. <laughs> Gotta find it without drugs. Huh? Dear God. Uh, someone what? asked. Moving on. Uh, what do you wish other people knew about you? That do I you have do any? drugs. <laughs> that you don't. There you go. Um, I think everyone knew that. Yeah, other that things that other people knew about me. Um, I mean, I'm a pretty open book. I think just at the end of the day, what like, are you looking around for? Like, I'm just like thinking, like I'm like trying <laughs> to get some inspiration. <laughs> oh, like. Okay. Well, someone asked, do you wipe front to back or back to front? It depends. You should never wipe back to front. No, but I have a contradiction. Sometimes you should never wipe the back. Into the front. Yeah, no booty hole to, but to pussy But sometimes hole. you have to kind of like pinch the back in to like 
Like, don't let it touch your puss, but like, you go like. Like, like when it. you're, wait, wait, when you're wiping your vaheen? No. If you're oh, wiping, you're wiping your booty hole. Yes. Yeah, you're supposed to go, oh, oh, I know. Like, when it's like a never ending streak and you're like, I gotta come at it from a different angle. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to like you have to you're like, like something stuck i gotta unwed and like, so you go you just kind of like so you go a back li- a little to go forward a little but don't touch your pussy hole you don't go forward all, you don't go like forward all the no, way no you like pinch it and yes. like pull like a pinch and pull a pinch and pull and then sometimes you gotta do like a side like so. like because some the, i'm sure you have hemorrhoids and like sometimes one gets in the way does not like the it never ends a uh, girl you have bidets at your house we do I love a bidet. I use them all the time. Yeah. I need to get one for every single toilet. Yes, they're so great. I've got big, big fan. That's the only thing that works. I'll get you one for your bidet. What is happening? Why do you keep looking know. at your forearm? Are you having a rash? Yeah, I think so. Are you allergic to my dog? Honestly, probably. You see it? Yeah. Wait, are, what are you allergic to? I don't know. Did you get bug bites on your leg too? No, these are old, but they are okay. acting up right now. Probably. Am, are you allergic to things? Yeah, probably. I am allergic to honey. That's why I didn't eat the salad because I saw her put honey in the dressing. Oh my God. And I was like, I'm going to just pass. I didn't eat it anyways. Uh, you know, we had other dressing. Yeah. Okay. But I was like, let me, let me have my voice tomorrow. I would just lose my voice for 24 hours. It's so stupid. What? Like it just gets like super phlegmy in there? Um, or it's I swollen? Don't, I don't know. It like my tonsils grow and they swell up and they close it shut. I can still breathe. I'm totally fine. Mm. My voice just goes away. Mm, sounds terrible. Did, did you not get your tonsils removed? Mm-mm. Weren't you supposed to? No. Oh. I'm misinformed. <laughs> no, yeah, they're, they're chilling in there. They're doing good. They're just... All right. They're barely working, but they're doing good. Um, someone asked when you're releasing a balance music video. <gasps> balance baby music video. I... Honestly, I'm talking about making one right now. We haven't made one, but I do want to make one. Okay. Have you made one for Choose Your Fighter? Yes. Choose Your Fighter has a music video. There's been a lot of plans with it. Um, truthfully, as of literally today, I was like, you know what? Next Friday, I'm putting it out. That's going to change again. I haven't told anyone on my team that. <laughs> but I want to put it out. We have it. It's done. It looks good. I'm proud of it. And what is it's today's, yesterday's, yesterday's tomorrow's, tomorrow's today. T- no, there's another word in there? Yes, yesterday's tomorrow's today. Yester- <sighs> yesterday, technically it's yesterday is tomorrow's today. Yesterday's tomorrow's right. today. Are you going to do a music video with that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I listen to it, I like it. I just cannot get the title of it. Honestly, that's okay. All right, last question. Well, we have more, but I'm getting bored of them and I want to do it. Would you rather? I love a would you rather. Uh, dream guest on your podcast. You. Thank you. I knew you were going to say that. Mm. I'm available. You're not <laughs> one of my exes, but. One of my. Was that, do you only have exes on? No. So that, that question was because I said, oh, dream oh, guest on my podcast. Right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. I wish I could. You could get, you could get an ex on. I could easily. Yeah. Any of them. Yeah. Any of them. Any of them would. Any of them would in a heartbeat. Believe it or not, they're still clout chasing. <laughs> like, that's crazy. How? Have you had a, you have, you've, you've dated people without the internet ever knowing, right? Um, you know, yeah. <laughs> I've never had a girlfriend without the internet knowing about them. But okay. I've flinged around with people without the internet. You've gone done flung. That's a lie. I have had a girlfriend without the internet knowing. <gasps> Congratulations. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I totally have. Ha <laughs> ha, look at you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kept one a secret. Gotcha, losers. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're moving on to what? Would You Rather. Okay, let's do it. Would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? Ooh, 150. Oh, I would choose 10. Uh, I would l- literally do anything to see my grandbabies. I mean, you could just start having babies now and then you could see your grandbabies because if you like, make your kids. 150, you'd see them all grown up. Maybe even great grandbabies. <gasps> That's true. Sign me up. That's cute. 10 minutes in the future though? 10 minutes, yeah, because then I could be like, will I get this done in time? If I say this thing, is it going to make everyone feel awkward? But you can't change the future. Because if you change it, you're fucked. Have you never seen Back to the Future? How, okay. Have you ever seen anything about time travel? It's because people are dumb. True. 
Like, you got to change things properly. Like, if I can... When, when's if the cutoff for go, a lottery? Like, when can I put my last yes, lottery ticket in, right? Yeah. Right? Wait, if you were to go back into the past and change one minor detail, what would you change? Yeah, i come out sooner. No, but that's my issue. It's not really minor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that's not yeah, minor. But if you were to come out sooner... Then I probably wouldn't have ended up with Abby because I would not have gotten a girlfriend and I'm... Yeah. I don't leave once I'm in the relationship. Um, minor thing. Oh, dear God. But honestly, I like the big thing. It could be a big thing. I'm trying to think, but like a minor thing that... I Stop playing footsie with me. <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> I just know you hate it. Uh, minor thing. Which, why? That was... Stop poking me. <laughs> You look away as if I don't know it's you. <laughs> Who the fuck? Got her. <laughs> um, uh, shit. I don't know. Because they all seem big. Yeah. Anything you would fuck with of the past, well, like, it's big. Yeah. Yeah. So, I still choose 10 minutes in the future. I don't need to see my grandbabies. I don't even know if I'm having babies. I'm not having do it. I'm I want to be an auntie to your babies. <laughs> you want to be an auntie to my babies? You'll be an auntie to my babies. I will be an auntie to yeah. your babies. All right. Would you rather... No, it's stupid. I already know your answer to that. Would you rather be forced to sing along or dance along to every single song Dance you along. I, you already do. I do. Literally any song that plays, I'm busting a You step. are. Uh, would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? Jail for five years? Yeah. You'd Easy. still know what's going on. Easy money. I mean, you get more trauma, though. Yeah. I mean, but, like, entertaining stories for sure. Oh, yeah. You could stay in contact with people. Absolutely. People won't forget about you. Exactly. You're in a coma. People forget. Did you just... <laughs> you just farted. You're welcome. I didn't smell your first one. Can you one. fart in a coma? Yes. That's a natural bodily yeah, function you that could, still happen. Yeah. yeah. You shit in a coma, too. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You know when people die, they usually shit? It's just like, Because everything out. releases, like, your whole body goes relaxed. Okay, do you want to know a crazy... Actually, that might violate some sort of HIPAA law. What? I have a crazy story of something that happened in my dad's office. <laughs> okay. Crazy story. Okay. I guess it doesn't really violate a HIPAA law. Um, I mean, don't use their name. Yeah, don't use their name, and it doesn't. It doesn't. My dad had somebody, unfortunately, going to cardiac arrest in his <gasps> office. And, like, they thought they lost the dude. Because my dad's a chiropractor, and so he's obviously trained on how to... Do CPR. Like, yeah. And so he's helping the guy, and the guy, his body was throwing up and shitting and pissing, and, like, he was gone. But my dad saved him. <gasps> Amazing! Got him back to life. My dad said he was, like, scooping the throw-up out of his mouth, chucking it out, and, like, giving him mouth-to-mouth -mouth as he was throwing up. But it's, like, when it's life or death, like, you don't You care. just do it. What the hell? I did not know you throw up. He was for some reason. I don't know. He was probably, like, gagging on his own tongue or something. And, yeah. like, that causes his, like... Beats me. But, yeah. That's insane! That. Another time I was at an airport, and someone went into cardiac arrest, and my dad went to go help him, and he pissed himself. My dad didn't piss himself. The guy, <laughs> okay, I figured. The guy in cardiac arrest pissed himself, yeah, but they saved him as well. Yeah, that happened. My dad you're... has saved three lives. That's insane. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, when people go through, like, uh, life or death things, their bodies just, like, kind of shut, release. Yeah, shut down, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's, it's part of fight or flight, actually. Like, people in car crashes often piss themselves because your body goes into flight or flight, fight or flight, and when you're choosing to... Fight. Like, no, when you're choosing to flight, flight, your body wants to get rid of all... It's stuff, so it's lighter and easier to run. Like, if you have to pee really bad, you're not going to be able to run. So your body just naturally just, like, pisses itself. And you don't even know it. Yeah. Wow. A lot of, yeah, so a lot of car crash victims will pee themselves. That's fascinating. It's, yeah. It's insane. Um, all right. So we'd, we'd rather go to jail. Would you rather have another 10, no, no. Another tit? No, yes. another 10 years with your partner or one night stand with your celebrity crush, but this can't. <gasps> 10 years with your partner. Same. But also, who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> but you actually, I've asked you this on a podcast before, and you were like, that's like asking a, what favorite coworker. Yeah, you it's can't like, do that. yeah. Yeah. Um, would you la rather lose your sight or lose your memories? Ooh, unfortunately, memories, but like also kind of fortunately. <laughs> 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 but imagine 
waking up as you and, and not like, knowing what the hell's happening. Anything. You wouldn't know any, you wouldn't know your address. You, your phone like, number. You just wake up and you just know basic human functions and you're Jojo Siwa. That would be so <laughs> You walk out and your face is on your car. <laughs> My toilet. Your fucking toilet. Like, imagine you would check your phone and get a text from Jess Siwa and be like, who's this? And you're like, you're walking around your house and there's just cardboard cutouts of you. I'd be like, who the fuck is that? And then I'd look in the mirror and be like, oh, God. <laughs> Like, she's hot, but who is she? Damn, he's sexy. <laughs> uh, that would be, like, that'd be a mind fuck. They just have yeah. basic human abilities and knowledge. You're, who's oh calling God. you? Jessiwa. Oh, say hi. Well, pause. <laughs> <laughs> pause, pause. Sorry. Sorry. Business called. The momager called. Had to deal with business. I want to be you. You put your feet up on the desk? Yeah. How's it feel? Not as exhilarating as I thought it was because I, I don't have socks where my big toe and second toe are separated. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what is, why are you an asshole? No, do not look at my fucking feet. Oh, I don't need to see that. No. Show them. Even, no, show them. I will not give the feet fetish people big content. <laughs> and her I'm next toe socks look like this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gap between my toes, okay? It's good for sandals. <laughs> She's actually insecure about this. It's because everyone makes fun of it. I look like a monkey. <laughs> I can pick things up with my toes, though. Look at I'm not. <laughs> no one's looking. You can see it through the sock. <laughs> I'm aware of the situation at hand. Should we see how much stuff we can fit in there? <laughs> Sometimes, Abby. <laughs> Do we... She... He puts her fingers through my toes and holds my toes as if she's holding my hand. Do all of them have that large of a No, it's just between my big, my big toe, toe and next the next toe. toe. Yeah. Let's see if we can fit. Okay, after we're done, I'm not doing this for the foot fetish people. We can do it after? Afterwards, you can stick whatever you promise? want. In my, I promise. Okay. God. Well, that's all we got for you today, Hungry. Ah. <laughs> I mean, nothing else I say is going to be as funny as that. Well, don't mess with the cat. Because if you mess with the cat, then the cat will come what up with something funnier. And I can guarantee you, if you start to mess with the cat right now, the cat will come up with something funny. So what is the lesson that we learned here? Don't mess with the cat. Maybe you should mess with the cat because you need to come up with something funnier. <laughs> Her and Malia came over today and just started talking about messing with a cat. And they won't stop. They just go on this we say Right now we say like, don't play with the cat. Because what will the cat do? The cat will bite back. Oh, baby, don't play with the cat. The cat will bite back. Like, that's like what we just say right now. Well, I don't want to show you my toes or the cat my toes. <laughs> Stop looking at my They looked first. They did not I look. was doing nothing. They were like this, and they were like, look at me. <laughs> this is why I'm always wearing shoes. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> You're such a dick. I love you. I love you, too. Um, uh, would you rather be? 11 feet tall or nine inches tall? I mean, we're basically already 11 feet tall, so let's know, switch it up a little bit. We're halfway there. Nine inches sounds good to me. <laughs> like a little fucking, that'd be so fun. To be that, I'd just carry you around. It'd be so fun. You couldn't do anything. You, do, you wouldn't need to pass into anywhere? No. Oh my God, I'm down. I would be nine inches. That would be fun. So fun. Oh my God, what if a dog ate me? It would take so long to get places though. Imagine running from here to your house. Oh. No. But imagine how cute your little tiny, like, house would be. I'd have to get a motorized something. So like a Barbie. Fun. A Barbie car. A motorized Barbie car and just scoot so myself fun. around. You'd be the coolest person. You would not be able to date anybody. Fine. Oh, <laughs> you w I don't think you'd be able to have children. Ooh. Yeah. Because no, a normal-sized baby would not fit inside of you. Yeah, that's true. But you would have a little nine-inch baby. But it depends on What do you got to say about nine-inchers, huh? Oh, God. I'm moving on. <laughs> Would you rather vomit on your hero or have your hero vomit on you? Hero, hero vomit, vomit on, on me, me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to walk around with that shame. Nope. Not a chance. I think I am allergic to your dog because, like, the coughing now. Like we're going to end this so fine. we don't murder JoJo. <laughs> I'm fine, but, like, I do, like, definitely. It makes sense because your dogs are hypoallergenic. Yeah. And I mean, that went away, though. Mine's a pit bull. I mean, I'm fine. If there's more, I'm chilling. I mean, we could just keep going or we can wrap it up now. We're at 40 minutes. I mean, don't mess with the cat because if you mess with the cat, then you will bite back.
the cat, you will bite back or the cat will bite back? <laughs> She's sure dying. She's dying. We're going to wrap this up. Thank this you for crazy. being here. I never knew this. I didn't know this either. <gasps> I just did an allergy test the other day. I'm allergic to like everything. Oh. But only slightly. So I don't have reactions, but my nose gets stuffed. Okay. Well, we're going to fix that, right? Yeah. No, yeah. actually, nose procedure. You know what else gets stuffed? The gap between your toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we have to end this so JoJo can you. stick shit in between my toes. Thank God. I love you guys. Please subscribe. Go check out all of JoJo's things. Just type in her name. You'll find everything in the world. <laughs> It'll come up eventually. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll see you next time. See you next time. And remember, everybody. Don't play with the cat because you know what happens if you play with the cat. You don't know what's going to happen if you play with the cat. So sometimes when you play with the cat, the cat always gets its way and the cat will always take you the fun route. So maybe if you want to take the fun route, maybe you do play with the cat. But always remember that the cat will bite back. Bye. (laughs) Thank you for listening to this episode of Rachel Uncensored, the only place on the internet where you can find the uncensored version of me. Rachel Ballinger. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, or follow, or do whatever this platform tells you to do so that you can get notified every time I post a new episode. Love ya!